My name's Guy Kesteven. I've been a professional bike and kit tester for nearly 25 years. And today's broadcast is brought to you with the help of Giro Cycling UK. So massive thanks to those guys for their support of the channel for the next few months. And you'll be seeing me, you'll be seeing me wearing their excellent helmets, apparel and shoes in uh, my upcoming videos. And today I'm talking about components from PNW, Pacific Northwest. Uh, I've chatted about Aaron and Emily, here they are on a postcard, doing gravel things, which is relevant uh, for the products I'm just about to talk to you about, and the ever-growing PNW team before, I'll put a link up to their MTB kit video that they sent in, all, you know, really experienced industry guys with a load of different background, uh, set up a small company uh, to kind of direct sell to uh, consumers so they get really good quality, innovative product. Uh, at a great price and actually I've now realised that some, uh, I mean even my local uh, dealer Chevin Cycles is now selling PNW uh, loan levers and other equipment so they are starting to come through shops as well but primarily direct from the US but shipping rates are really good, shipping speeds are fantastic because uh, I actually, from the first batch, I actually after doing the unboxing I lost uh, the stem that they sent me so because, you know, I can't expect him to send me another stem uh, when I've been an idiot and lost it. I actually bought one from their site. Uh, and also, it's good to know, you know, what the, cons what the actual consumer gets. And it arrives, you know, super quick. It's quicker than I probably, you know, almost as quick as buying it from a UK site. And then also, there was an update running on the Rainier Post, uh, which they completely triggered themselves before there were any issues. And, you know, they got in touch, said, right, everyone's getting a new uh, new actuator lever for the bottom of the post. Please fit it in case you have a uh, problem. You know, so they have a good fan. And look on the website, you know, five-star reviews pretty much throughout. These guys have a fantastic reputation for customer service. And they even do things like they sell sort of recycled kit, you know, kits that have been returned to them because if it hasn't been the right stuff or, you know, people have just ordered wrong or they've got it and they turned out they didn't want it. You know, you can actually buy that kit from their site at a cut down price, even though it's fully, still fully warranted. And with this kit, you, you know, with their fresh kit, you get a lifetime warranty on pretty much everything. So, you know, these guys put customer service right up, right up there, which when you consider the prices they're charging for things, it's pretty damn remarkable. So talking remarkable, uh, I mean, to be honest, these aren't the widest drop bars you can get, but at 520 mil wide, these coast bars are certainly a lot wider than the standard sort of 440 mil bar that you get on most stock bikes these days. Uh, in terms of dimensions, that includes a 120 mil clamping zone, so plenty of room on there for your bar bag, for your GPS, for your lights, for tri bars if you're getting super competitive, although. I'd guess that people wanting that much steering leverage are probably more into the fun side of gravel biking than they are into the aero, but who knows? It's a high strength alloy, you've got cable grooves in the front there, you've got a 20 degree flare on them as well. So although they're 520 mil across the brake hoods, they're actually 604 mil uh, from tip to tip at the base. So you're getting, you know, it's not far off uh, XC mountain bike width and uh, certainly wider than I used to run bars on my own mountain bike back in the 90s. Again, fueling that whole, our gravel bikes, the new uh, mountain, our gravel bikes basically retro mountain bikes. Sorry, I'm a bit mealy mouth tonight. It's uh, It's gone midnight. I should have filmed this a lot earlier. So bear with me when I'm stumbling over my words. What else do I need to tell you? It's a 65mm uh, reach forwards and it's a 105mm drop. So... Nice compact bar, there's some great shaping in there, you know, now designed to give you a nice secure feel in the drops there, but not be a massive reach to your uh, brake levers and just kind of just give a progressive cockpit feel to your gravel bike if you're used to a short stem wider bar set up on your mountain bike, which, you know, most of us are now. And to go with those, those coast bars, which cost £50.72, always like a novelty price. Uh, comes the exactly the same price, £50.72, PMW Coast Stem. So designed to work with the bars. Uh, I mean, it's a stem, uh, but it's a very light stem because even with this uh, resin, you know, uh, GoPro light action camera, whatever you want to call it, mount on the front, 
It's still only 127 grams for this 70 mil length. And incidentally, you can take that off. You know, you don't have to have it on there. It's really easy to remove. It's just clamped in the base there. And also that means you can shift it up and down in terms of angle, but really nicely put together, uh, forged. So, you know, there's no worry about stress rises from excess machining on there. Four bolt stem, polished front end, sort of shop uh, matte back end, really nice laser etching on it. Uh, again, this Pacific Northwest logo with the sort of trees and the contours on it. So Mike uh, Feltz graph graphic, a uh, guy who's done loads of uh, excellent graphic design, does a lot of work from Marin at the moment, but started off way back when in the Gary Fisher days. So again, a really smart looking stem and this is available in 60 right through to 100 millimeter lengths and it's fully rated for uh, XC mountain bike use as well. So, and obviously you can run it with a, a drop like that or with a seven degree rise, depending on what, how high you want your bars. So yeah, that's the Coast Stem again, 50 pounds, 72. Uh, so a m bit of a bargain really, when you consider how light it is. I mean, anything down towards, you know, below 150 grams is pretty damn light. Certainly XC worthy or gravel worthy. And then, we have a proper dropper for your gravel bike. I mean, there are quite a few options out there now in uh, sort of skinny seat post, uh, skinny seat tube width, 27.2 diameter. Uh, but this version, uh, I reached to my handy out, I should have done this before, but it's in the packaging. So, and again, it's, uh, it's a cradle end design there. So you put the nipple end in there which makes it, so I'll come forward a bit to the camera. You put the nipple end in there, so that makes it really easy to uh, set up. It's not the bolted end inside the frame, which is always a bit of a nightmare. And that gives you up to 125 mil of uh, stroke on there. So actually a proper drop. And the really smart thing about the Rainier Post, I mean, I've had the uh, MTB sized one on my Kotick now for, over a year? Yeah, probably over a year, and it's been absolutely bumper. Like I said, there was a running change to the actuator gear, which they fully saw it themselves. But apart from that, it's been totally bomb-proof and super smooth, just a great post. And as you can see, there's a little collar in there, and what you do is you pull that white collar out, key it round, and that lets you adjust the stroke length uh, down to 100 mil if you want, in five mil increments. So you can get maximum shaft uh, stroke uh, from whatever frame size you have because obviously there's generally a little bit less room between your frame and your saddle on a gravel bike than there is on your MTB and in terms of working out whether it will fit your bike or not he says checking his notes rather obviously down below him uh, 452 mil long uh, and collar to rail center so if you slam the collar into the frame to the center of the rails 170 mil so again a nice compact post that will fit into most gravel bikes and you know like i say reliability on the mtb version has been absolutely flawless so i'm really looking forward to getting that installed and of course then you need let's be careful here it's all all this is packaged in very nice recyclable eco-friendly packaging but there might be some small bits in here that i don't oh there it goes Famous last words, right. So you get cable, and interestingly, you get two different kinds of outer. So you get a standard outer, and then you get a more flexible outer as well to actually go under the bar section. And then in here, there's a barrel adjuster to help you adjust it. But the main thing here is this little uh, dropper lever remote there. So it's designed to either go underneath uh, your bars. So, Let's see if this threads on there. So it's designed to either fit there on your bars and uh, operate with your thumbs coming over the hoods like that or in the drops like that, or you can slide it all the way around and actually sit it up near the center of your bar. If, But yeah, I, I imagine I'll be using it down there. That seems like the most obvious place to put it so you can operate it while you're actually down in the drops getting your, getting your downhill groove on. So again, just really neat little forged piece there. I mean, it doesn't have the uh, little rubber pad like the loam lever, the top of the range dropper bar lever they do, which is what I've been running on the Kotick. But, you know, really nice forged setup, neat little uh, 
Allen key on there just to cinch it up. And uh, yeah, just feels great. You know, no rattle, no wobble. So, and again, you know, it clamps the open end of the cable in there. So hopefully that's going to be really easy to set up. So obviously that's the next stage of it. Uh, get these products onto a suitable vehicle. Nice. I might have something quite interesting I can uh, put these on. Still not quite decided where they're going to go, but I'm going to be getting them out onto, into testing as soon as possible. And the post weighs 453 grams uh, without the remote, so it's a really, really lightweight post as well. And it costs a remarkably reasonable £146.29. p. So it's, you know, it's as cheap as the most basic posts, but it's really high quality, really reliable, and it's got that adjustable travel feature on it as well, which I think for gravel bikes is potentially even more useful than it is on a mountain bike because you've got less room to play with it between the saddle and the frame. So, massive thanks to the guys at PMW for sending the components. Thanks to James at Nixon and Friends, the PR agency who kind of managed it all. Uh, thanks massively to my Patreon supporters whose names are scrolling up here. Uh, those are the guys who invest uh, in the channel on a monthly basis and help to fund it, grow it, let me put the time aside to make these edits out of my normal testing work and they get extended behind the scenes and exclusive edits as a thank you. So big thanks to those guys and if you like the channel, uh, what I'm doing on the channel, then please consider supporting it. Thanks again to uh, Giro Cycling UK for their support of the channel at the moment. And for you guys for subscribing, clicking for notifications and giving me a thumbs up so YouTube know you enjoy it and they'll share the video more widely on their algorithms. But for now, I've been Guy Kestevan on Guy Kest TV talking about the excellent new uh, coast handlebar set up for gravel and the fantastic addition of a 27.2mm size to the full feature Rainier seat post. Uh, generation 3 rainy AC post uh, from Pacific Northwest Components, which is quite a mouthful after midnight, I'm not going to lie. But anyway, thanks for watching. Check back in for reviews as soon as I've had some trail time with these bits of kit.